ESPN FC, the match predictor. Just a matter of hours until the first game kicks off. Big cash prizes available. ESPNFC.com. Get your entry in. Last but not least at this grand board, Stuart Robson. Can we been, do better than they You've been waiting. I, I think we can. You were involved think, in one of those. I think we've got the, the Shaka. We've got the technology bit figured oh, out. I think well, so, I'll say yeah. that now. We shall see. Uh, yeah. Let's start with your, your group picks, Stuart. Yep. Uh, who you got coming out of uh, the eight groups? Uh, talk, talk us through it. Any, uh, uh, I've got Uruguay uh, winning the group. Russia second, I think, because they're the home nation. I think they will just do enough. Spain, even though Lobotegui's gone and uh, Iero is the uh, sort of interim coach, I think they'll still win it. Portugal just about coming second. France and Denmark, that was a hard one. Denmark or Peru, really. But I put Denmark in. Argentina to win the group. Croatia or Nigeria? Croatia yep. just about. That's the one that separates yep. uh, opinion. Group E, no, no shit. Well, you've got Serbia going through. No, I'm, yeah, I'm not Serbia. I think they're a good team, Serbia. Yeah. They've got some excellent players. Milinkovic Savic is a player that everybody should be looking out for. Germany and Mexico okay. to get above Sweden. Yep. England and Belgium. I've actually put England as the as the winning group on uh, winning team on that one because I think the, the dead rub of the last game and Belgium might not put out their full side. So I had England winning that group and Colombia uh, winning the group. Senegal, well, I think, are the best of the African uh, yeah. teams. Then come in second. Of group that, isn't it? That group H. Not much to choose between them. It leads us to these round of 16 encounters, Stuart. So this is where it starts to get interesting. Well, the first game's not interesting. Spain will be too good for Russia. This is as far as Russia will go. OK, Spain... Bye-bye to the host. Yeah. And then you look at the next one. Lionel Messi at his very best. I think he's going to take the World Cup by storm. It's going to be too good for Denmark. So it's Argentina to play yep. against Spain there. Then you look at the next one. Tough one. You like Serbia. I like Serbia. Serbia yeah. but you I like him enough. Not enough to beat Germany. Yeah. I think Germany will just about have enough to, to beat Serbia. And out of those two, I'm going to go for Belgium at the bottom. Under a lot yeah. of pressure because they've got some great players, but I think they'll have too much. Let's go with that again. Yeah. There we go. They, 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 they don't Germany. want to play Germany, but they will be playing they Germany. Will. Let's have a look at the other half of the, uh, the round of 16. Uruguay, Portugal. Now, my team, I think, might, might disappoint Portugal. Yeah. European champions, I'm not particularly I'm happy with, with that. Uh, two yeah. defences. Not high on Portugal. They've got... Uruguay, three outstanding players in Godin, Suarez and Cavani, so I think they'll go through. France, Croatia, 98 semi-final, same result. Through. Yeah, I think uh, Paul Pogba's going to come to the fore in this yeah. tournament. We had a slight injury to Mbappe, but I think they're still a very good side. Brazil, Mexico would be a tasty round of 16. It would be a tasty game, but there's only one winner. Mexico, I think, this all 48. That's different, been their ceiling, isn't it? 48 different formations in 48 games. Yeah. Brazil, I think, are going to have a good World Cup. 48 league. formations. So I've been told. <laughs> so I've been told. And even versus track. Senegal. Now I'm going to go on this occasion with Senegal because, I, as I said, they're the best African uh, team in the tournament. Yep. I think they've got some outstanding players. And it might just be too much for England, so Senegal really? to play Brazil. You and Shaka both. Yes. Both of you have Senegal knocking out England. Yep, that's, that's what you go for. All right, so let's uh, take it to the quarters. Spain and Argentina. That would be some way to I'm still, kick off the I, I said at the beginning of the tournament well, a couple of weeks ago, Spain would win it. Even though lobotegui has gone, I still think... They're going to get... Under Fernando Iero, yep. they're going to go... They're still, I think the players the will start to come They could go point. further. Could go further. Germany, Germany versus Belgium. Belgium the might... The... I'm going to go for Belgium on this occasion. Yeah, I like it. I think Germany I think might Germany... just fall apart. I, yes. Well, it's happened to previous holders, hasn't it? Yeah. And Leroy Sarno left ago. out. Well, I think yeah. it's a bad decision by the manager. Semi-finals. Um, ooh, I'm going to go for, in this one, uh, France to beat Uruguay. Yeah, this is still to, to, make to it get into, into the, the semi-finals, semis, yeah. the quarter-finals. Yeah, and then Brazil. As much as I like Senegal, yeah. Brazil. That's, a, that's the to beat. That's the ceiling. There. That would set up a France-Brazil semi. So let's have a look at these semis, shall we? Oh yeah, I like the look of that. So we've got an all-European encounter: Spain, Belgium. You've got France and Brazil. Who's getting to the final? Neymar coming to the four. I yeah. think I think he's going to dominate the World Cup when he's when he's on top form. And I'm still going to go. I'm going to stick with what I said. No matter the manager going, players will take them through to the final against Brazil. So the Spanish manager of Belgium, Roberto Martinez, will come a cropper against Spain. Yeah, but he's taken them to the yeah. semi-finals, in my view. So a Brazil-Spain final on July the 15th in Moscow. Who's, uh, who's In my predictor, trophy? I said that Spain would win it, but I've changed my mind over Ooh. the last two days. And the managerial change, something to do with yeah, that? Yeah, I think that's a little bit yeah. of that. There might be a bit of unrest between the players by the end of the tournament. Brazil, they are going to win the World Cup. 
Remember where you heard it first. This man has a track record of predictions. He was the first one to say Arsene Wenger would go, but that was eight, eight <laughs> years, years ago. ago. So maybe the 2026 World Cup is what you should be, <laughs> should be predicting here. Uh, thanks very much, Pleasure. Stuart. Uh, you can uh, catch our podcast. If you missed the uh, video version of the show, the audio version available every day on iTunes.